Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away, and we now got pack 9 of the Agora Models release of Bismarck, the legendary battleship. So, pack 9, 10, 11 and 12 are unlike any of the other packs that you've done previously. Basically, there's a lot to do in each pack and I'm talking tons to do. In fact, I think this video is going to come in at about one and a half hours. So for that reason, I've put chapter points. So if you are working on this, you can actually just click on the chapter and it will take you straight to that chapter point. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I've put the link to Agora models down here. It's also in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I'm sure you'll agree that by the end of this pack, we are really on our way to completing the Bismarck. Now, this was filmed over several sessions, so you'll see some continued, continued, no, I can't even say the words, continuity errors uh, between what I'm wearing and location as well. Uh, but I have put this together all in one place now, uh, so you can watch pack nine in its fulfillness and all its entirety. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you like it, so without further ado, let's get cracking. It's getting so hard now to demonstrate these whole pieces, but uh, this one looks like that. And as you can see, it's just going to go into this section, just like this, there. Uh, we do need to put a little tab across both of them here. Once again, when I put these in, I have it so that the numbers are uh, facing... 90 degrees to the right so uh, I know that all of these are the same way around uh, and then we're going to screw that in with the screws that come with it and they are PM screws so got them here we're going to need four of these so one in here first hard to get in with the internal uh, turbine room there if you're having trouble with the screwdriver they did send us a small screwdriver you could use that or just take it out this I didn't really demonstrate it last time actually as you can see look it's it's just on like a, a blocks at the bottom there so you can just actually lift it out and that'll probably make things a lot easier when we screw this in so put the first one in the second one I'll put to attach it to the base section there third one I'll put in the other tab over this side it's a lot easier now that uh, turbine room's taken out. And lastly, just one on this side here, just like that. And for the first time in a long time, we now have a completely flat hole on top. So when we put the last deck on here, we've got something for it to lean on. Now, as I said, this was the internal turbine room. If I just take this section off, we've got these points in here that this fits over. So we'll just slot this back in. And that's why I said if I paint this, then uh, it's just a case of taking the old one out and putting the new one in. We don't glue this in at all. And then we can just put the side back on like that. Now I'm gonna bring this down this way because I need to take this section off here. And if you remember last time, I'm gonna try and just tilt this so you can see underneath, probably on the top camera there. We had this test board that we had in here. If you've still got that connected, we don't need that connected anymore, so that can come out, so we can get rid of that. Now we have two wires that come in this issue, looking just like that, and they're connected by a female section and a male section. The first thing we wanna do is just pin them together just like that. Now hopefully, you've kept things safe, but uh, do you remember this bad boy? This came from issue 18. This is another cable, looks just like those ones there, uh, with four pins on each side. We need to attach one of these, or well, this cable here, just at the end, if you can see that there, of the control board in the forward deck there. So making sure we put it in the right way. This one, whoops, is gonna go in a bit tricky. Like that, make sure it's pushed in all the way, just like that, I'm happy with that, because I'm not really gonna be able to get to that afterwards. And then we're gonna put this back onto the deck of the ship like that but we need to put some wire tidy in here to pin this into place so we're going to hold this where it goes just there and then this is going to have a tab going across just like this now these tabs came in the last issue looking like that 
we then want to take this lead which come in this issue and as you can see we've got a female end there and we've got a male end it's the female end that's going to go on to the end of this one here make sure the pins are around the right way and just push that in making sure it's all the way in there just like that it does help to show the pins on top there of which way around this actually goes we're then going to continue down here by putting these pins in to place just over the deck so that's one two here and I put three just to the this side of the uh, turbine room now when you've done that obviously you want this to trowel all the way to the back of the ship here now let me just show you underneath uh, the ship here just so you can see the control board on the camera here very hard to show you but this is what it's looking like under the ship at the moment and you see we've got a spare socket there which is socket 23 now we're going to be putting the other cable which came in this issue just into that just like that and then all we have to do i'm just going to lie this down for a second is put this on here again resting it into place just like that which will leave two wires coming out the back of the ship which should be 9 9304 i believe and 9305 and we're just going to pin them in place with the last pin that we've got here so uh i line them up put them in it's going to be pretty hard to distinguish what cable is what so i might label them up because uh, i think that's going to come handy next time but there we go that's the pin in place with the two cables out the back and that is all there is to do in that issue So the first thing we are doing is we're going to take this piece from the last issue there which we've kept safe and we've got the deck piece from this issue which quite simply has got some lugs at the bottom there it's just going to go on like this which means we need to put some glue just into those lug holes there so lug holes now there's a name i haven't heard in a long time if you don't know all of our slang over here in the uk i don't know if they use the same term in america but lug holes are ears <laughs> i'm sure uh, i'm sure that's probably common worldwide who knows anyway so this goes on just like that hold it in place for a second you see that holds on fine that's the deck on and i've just found out because you know i don't read the instructions that i wasn't meant to glue that but either way it's staying in what we are meant to do is screw it in there with some pb screws so uh yeah that deck's not moving but i will do what they tell me to do and i'll open these pb screws up and we'll put two screws just at the bottom here. You know why I did that? It's because every time we've had to put a deck down before, we've had to glue it in. So I'm shocked that we finally got a deck which uh, is actually screwed in. Not that these screws are going to do anything now because the glue's holding that nice and secure. This is probably the most secure deck on the ship now. <laughs> So we can put that to one side because we're now going to be working on the uh, searchlight deck, which looks just like this. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we've got the deck platform here. That's just going to be going over the top just like that. And guess what? They want us to glue it in. So I'm going to put some glue just around the inner rim there. Now it can only go one way because this inner rim here is only on one side of the detail now one side of this deck does have tabs so I'm putting those tabs towards the side with the lugs here so uh, we're gonna put it on this way and just hold it into place for a little while clicks in there and there we go that's that deck on there we're then going to be assembling the control station so we've got the shaft at the top here now this has got two different ends one's got tabs at the bottom one's flat at the top uh, it's the flat side that we need and we're going to need this side just to glue this into place on top like that so what i'm going to do is just put some glue around the inside here now to ensure that we put it in the right way as you see we've got a little notch just out there and we have got a channel for that to fit in there so we make sure we put it in exactly as it's meant to be just like that if you haven't it won't let you put it in properly but there we go that's the start of the control tower done and quite simply the two lugs that we've got just at the bottom here are going to fit into these two holes here so when it's on this open section here 
is more towards these lugs on this side here. So I'm going to drop some glue just into those holes there. I must have been using lots of glue lately because uh, I'm running out again. Lucky, the last time I went out to get my glue, which I get from the range stores in the UK, I, uh, I bought loads of them. So I'm not going to run short, but that's in place just like that. We can put that to one side now because we've got the ultra hard job that we used to we're used to doing in this where we've got to put the uh, tabs on these LEDs so just take one of the LEDs for now just this one I think I'll choose and we've got some stickers so the first sticker I'm going to use is the one that says C1 so peel that off and we'll put that into the plug end now these are little micro SDs here SDs LEDs see very tiny look compared to my now there and then what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the searchlight now we've done this so many times before we should be dab hands in it what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off all of these details i will build one for you now and then what i'll do we've got to do this again because obviously there's two searchlights so i will uh build this a second searchlight off camera because by then we should be uh pretty proficient in building search lives so let's get all these off okay so the first thing we do we take this section just like this and we're going to be passing the little led just through there and just let that hang down for a minute we'll get that bit afterwards at the end then we're going to be putting the lens into the holder here now the lenses are in a pack so they need to be opened up get one of them out and to put them in we just put them into the top just like that make sure it sits nice and flat in there like that then we're going to be putting the tiny tiny led there just into the channel of this section here making sure that the bulb is facing upright otherwise it's not going to light very well it's quite a snug fit so it should sit in there nice and flat and then we're going to be gluing that to this side of the uh spotlight there it's got a little channel there for the wire to go so to do that means we are going to need to put some glue just around the inner rim of this here and that side try not to get any on the lens because uh clear plastic lenses really don't like super glue and then we'll put this into place making sure that we've put it in the right way so that the uh, wire is not going to be coming out anywhere and it's following the channel and when that's on you should look just like that we're then going to be cluing the support arm to the spotlight here and basically this tab of the support line support line <laughs> it should point towards the back of the spotlight and it's just going to go in either side so when you put this on you want to make sure that the uh, it's facing this way around and I'll it's probably better if I explain how this is going to go so that the hole that we've got underneath this support there is going to be pointing down so when we put this bracket mount on which has got a tab on the top that's going to be able to go into it at the back just like that so it's this bit that we're going to be putting in now so we'll just turn this over and put this in that thing's just falling off but i will uh, put it back on again in a second so the wire goes into the channel there very hard to show you this drop some glue just into the holes here and the other hole on the other side there just like that and then we use the other side here just to close that off just like that i'll put this bit back on one hole there one hole there then all we do put a little bit of glue just into the back of the support for the spotlight here and then we attach that to the top of the mount that we just put in hold it in place and make sure that it's perfectly straight which it is so it should look just like that and then all we do is we slide up this part that we just worked on before which means we need to put some glue just around the base section there so one two 
and free. Slide that part all the way up, lock it into place like that. It's going to hold it for a second. And there we go, that's the finished spotlight. We're going to repeat that exactly the same way, but this time we're going to be putting another sticker on which says C2. And there you go, there's two spotlights completed. So we're going to bring over the spotlight deck again. We're going to take the C1 um, spotlight and uh, on the right hand side of the lugs here to me, we're going to put that all the way down here. And then we're going to be gluing the spotlight into place. We're going to be gluing it so it's facing out this way. So I'm just going to put some glue just around the rim there. Again, I'm just dotting it around the inside because I don't want that glue to be visible from the outside. Push it down, make sure I've got the uh, spotlight exactly where I want it. So that's the first one in. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side with the one that's C2. So I think this time I will uh, put this glue in first. Three, just around that side there. Excellent. Put the uh, thing through all the way, and this one's going to be facing out the other way. I mean, obviously, you can angle these exactly as you want. I'm going to have mine as 90 degrees. I think in the pictures, they're just slightly off 90 degrees, but uh, they're made to be turned around, so I suppose it doesn't matter as long as they look good. And there we go. That looks just like that. All we got now is lots of details to put on. So the first detail we're going to be putting on will be behind this spotlight here on the control tower. And that's basically just one of these ones that we can see just at the top there. So I'll get one of these off. Now there's a little tab at the bottom of these details. You want to make sure you keep that tab when you tap it off because that's what you're going to help to line up to put it into place where it goes. So I've got some glue here. I'm going to line up with the hole that we've just got, hard to see, in the deck there. And also, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue just at the back of that tower, just so that I can get this in. Now you're probably going to need tweezers for this. So I'll put the bottom in first. and then line up the top. So when that's in, it should look just like that. We're gonna do exactly the same thing just on the other side there. And there we go, that's the second one on, looking like that. Then we've got these sort of like double lockers here. So I'm gonna get both of these off. Now these have got tabs at the bottom as well. And these are going to go into the two holes that we can see on this flat side, just there and there. So I'll drop some uh, glue once again, just into these holes. One. And I'll put a little bit on the, uh, on the tower part as well, just to help those pieces in. And then once again, I'll load this up onto my tweezers here. These are the real fiddly ones, these are get the first one in there you go that's the first one in we're going to do the same with the one at the back and that's the one at the back done as well got a really tidy piece now which is this stalk on the sprue just over here so i'm going to get that one off i think i'm going to use my magnifying glasses for this one and we're also going to be breaking off this long ladder here now the stalk goes on this side just here, so I'll drop some glue into that hole. Get me tweezers. And basically it's got a real thin end on it, it's the thin end that's facing out. So I'm just trying to rotate this around the best way that I can get this in. It's going to go in this way. Hopefully the close-up camera is going to be able to help you see what this looks like, but it should look just like that. You can see that there. Put the ladder in. 
The ladder's just gonna go next to it, just onto this section right here. And once again, there is a little notch to help you out just at the bottom of that, but I am gonna run some glue just up the uh, shaft as well. Should be able to get this one in. Would have thought with my hands, yeah. Put that in and then make sure it's straight. Press it down so it's flat. And that looks just like that. We've got a very, very small detail now, just this one at the top there, so we'll get that off. Now, if we look at this side here, which has got a door on it, uh, the piece we just broke off is just gonna go at the top two holes that we can see there. So I'm gonna drop some glue into that. This is so much easier if you are wearing those glasses, just so you know. I was gonna try and put it in with my uh, with my hands, that ain't gonna happen. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the tweezers lined up. Here we go. And then that'll help me to get this in here. Push it in, there you go. And that should look like that. Spin it around. As you can see, we've got this section just like that. We've got two details to put on here. One is a vent and one is a locker. So I'm just gonna cut this off the sprue. I'm gonna do the vent first. The vent's going on this left side, just in there. It means there will be some holes above. I'll load this up in my uh, tweezers again. Put the first one in. Push it home. There we go, that's the vent on. And then lastly, we've just got the last locker here. So I'll just cut off the sprue. And that's just gonna go onto the other side there in the two holes that you can see that are left. One, two. I should be able to put this on with my uh, hands. I'll put it on, look at the picture though, just to check what way round it goes. It does go round that way there. And that's basically that platform complete. Now we've got to bring this platform over to the one that we made right at the start here. And this quite simply is just gonna attach into the two lugs that we can see in the end there, just like that so it is a snug fit but we will want to make sure that doesn't fall out so i'm going to put a little bit of super glue just around these lugs here one and two and i'll dab a bit just onto each section here that's ample push it together make sure it's tight on either side so there's no gaps in there so with the massive platform that we got in this stage as well, and what we've just completed here, that's all there is to do in this stage. So in issue 95, as I said, we've got this kill piece here, but the first thing we wanna do is we wanna put one of these tabs just in here like that and secure it down so we'll be able to attach this uh, kill piece to it now. These are secured in with PM screws. So I'll put two in this side. Look how big this ship is compared to my hands. Uh, I've, I've got some of the uh, things that, <laughs> storage space if you like, that I'll put up here. You've got the catapults here. Uh, it just saves them getting lost. They'll eventually go on the ship. Not sure where they go actually. I'm thinking they're going somewhere here, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and then we're gonna be just basically putting on this kill piece. So you want the bigger end to be going towards the ship, just like this here. And then once again, two more PM screws to hold that into place. So that's one, and this is two. And what you will notice when you put this kill piece in is that where the ship sits flat in the center section, it's now starting to come up towards the uh, stern of the ship there. Uh, but that's issue 95 complete. Now issue 96, as you can see here, we've got another hole piece. This piece is gonna be going on the uh, port side. So it's gonna go under here, just 
like that. And once again, this is going to be held in with some PM screws. So uh, I'll get them in first, holding it in place. Let's do the one just here first. That's going to hold that in. Then we've got two more there and there. And then once this whole piece is in, we're going to be working on putting the railings in. Now the railings look really impressive because I do like how they're bent into shape already for us. As I said, that's the calm before the storm because in issue 97, we're going to have to do that ourselves. <laughs> but there you go. That's uh, the kill piece and the hold piece in. So I'm just going to spin it round to show you where we're going to be putting these railings. Now I've just zoomed up on the top camera because this is where the first railing is going to go. Uh, just onto the funnel deck there with the spotlights on it and it's going to go into the holes that you can see all the way around just like that so that means we need glue i need to dab glue into all the holes that we can see around that section and the easiest way to put this in is to line one side up at a time i've got one whole side in it's going to do the other side and there we go i've just put that on the close-up camera that was really fiddly and i'm surprised we've done that now why we didn't do it earlier <laughs> It seems a, a bit of a funny time to actually put that railing on. I'm sure that should have been done earlier. Now the last bit of railing we got looks just like this. And that's going to be going, moving the whole ship around, just on this front section here, just onto this forward section that we can just see here. So once again, I've got some glue. I'll dab them into the three holes I've got here. That's one, two... And lastly, one at the back there, three. And we'll put this one in. This will be a lot easier because it's only three tabs. One, two, three. Just hold it for a second. And there we go. That's all there is to do in that stage. So the first thing we need is the deck that we had from the last issue here and this part of the deck, the actual uh, planking section, which come in this issue. Now we don't glue this in, as you see, we've got some lugs at the bottom there. We just put that over the top, we turn it over and that's gonna be secured in with six PB screws. I've got those screws here. As a matter of fact, I think it's the only ones that come in this pack. So we'll get these open and I'll put these screws in. Now I'm trying to be methodical uh, how I'm doing this today. I'm keeping my work area clear because I keep thinking about those uh, those ladders. Now when you put these screws in, once again, don't over tighten them because they are just going into plastic. All you need is enough just to hold that in place. If you're over tighten them, you're going to round the screw off. So you don't want to be doing that. So that's two in and we just keep doing for the rest of them. As you can see, my uh, wound from yesterday is healing already. Hopefully we won't have any more wounds today, but uh, I'm not promising you anything. <laughs> I have started taking videos for the uh, every time I make a mistake or stab myself or something goes wrong. So that at the end of the year, we can uh, have a look at a good outtake out 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 blooper reel. Um, it's been suggested to me pretty much every year for the last like four or five years. Because <laughs> that's how long this channel has been going for now. We're in its sixth year, you know. Pretty crazy stuff. I started the channel in 2015. But there we go. That's all six of them in. And that's what the deck looks like there. Now we've got another bit of decking section with lugs at the bottom, which is going to go onto the Spotlight's deck house here. And it's just going to go into this section just here. Now this one is going to be glued in. So uh, I haven't actually got my glue ready yet. So I will put some glue just into this trough here. And then once again, using my pin vise or Archimedes drill with just a normal pin in the end of it. I'm just going to drop some glue just around the edges where I know this is going to hold in. So that's one two, three, and four, and then for luck, I'll put a little squiggle, one, two, <laughs> three, that should hold that in, no problems at all, so this is just a 
push him. Just, oops, line it up. One, two. Make sure it's sitting flat in there, which is perfect. That looks just like that. And on the other side there, as you can see, those lugs have come all the way through. We can put that to one side because we've got another decking section looking just like that. That's going to go in another sort of like deck there that we've uh, just received in this issue. And quite simply, this is just going to go into here like that. Now, once again, as you can see, it's got a flat side. So we just need to apply some glue just to the inside there. I foresee us using a lot of glue in this one. But as you can see, I don't go overboard on the glue because you never know <laughs> when you're going to have to take it off because you've gone wrong. Uh, obviously, it goes this way up. So put that in, push it down flat, just holding it in place for a second. And as I said, my glue dries really quick. So see, I can turn it upside down. That's all in place, looking just like that. Bringing this back over, the deck that we've just done there is just going to go in here like that. So once again, we're going to put some glue just into these sections here. So once just around the rim there and there and then just for some luck <laughs> I'll put a couple of squiggles here that should be enough and then push this into place they are quite a snug fit so you want to really push them down just like that you want to hear the click so it's flat on that side there but now that looks like that now we can put that to one side because we're going to be making some stacks of these life rafts here. Now, as you can see, they've got a semicircular lug and on one side, and we've got a semicircular hole on the other. And basically, we're just going to be stacking four of these together. We should have eight. Before I do that, I'm just checking we have. So once again, get me glue out and we can start doing that. So the good thing is it can only go in one way because uh, of the shape. So that's one. That's in like that. And we just do that another two times. Now, I believe, I can't remember, I might have weathered these up a little bit on the ship, but I tend to do any weathering at the end. So uh, I might just put a real dry brush on that. Uh, the front, so you've got fronts on there, so you need to make sure you've got the front on the right one. Because obviously, you don't want to see a tab on the outside one. So I'm just going to put the last one in there. Whoops. Drop the last one. There we go. So we've got a stack of four there. We're looking like that from that side, that from that side. Do the same with this one. I'll start with the front one this time. I think the only modding or weathering or anything I've done at the moment is for the portholes and I believe I might have to do some portholes on this one because there's quite a bit of deck in there and I think I can see some portholes so I've got time I'll do some of that at the end and show you how I did the rest I think I showed you before I just use a black sharpie and then I uh, I use some micro crystal clear just on top to give the effect of a window and uh, that's pretty much done so but that's another stack of life rafts there looking just like that now while they're drying i'll put them to one side because we just need to bring over this deck because we've got some details to put on here now see those semicircular holes that we've got at the front there that's where our life rafts are going to go so once again i'm just going to drop some glue just into each hole there one and two and then it's pretty easy to see how these go just line them up and slot them into that hole just hold that in place that's the first one in and that's the second one in there you go now we've got this black piece here which is called the priority passage indication frame uh, that's just going to go into the lug that we can just see at the back just there so drop some glue into there And I'll put this into place. I should be able to do this freehand, this one. It's quite a big piece. Making sure we put it round the right way. The way you want it is so that this side is facing out. And I'm making sure that it's at 90 degrees. So when that's in, that should look just like that. Now this is where we're going to be taking our motor section. 
with an uh, area on top there and that the shape of it as you can see we've got a lug at the bottom and it's sort of like a cone at the top there oval sorry and that's going to match what you just see there so we need to take the lead thread that through all the way make sure everything's seated properly and then we're going to secure that in with a screw on the other side and the only screws we do get in this pack are pb screws so there's no uh guessing what screw this could be so load that up and we fit this into place you've got to love just how much detail is just on a little part here there we go that's in place looking pretty impressive isn't it i don't know if i've still yeah i can still turn this because it is engaged with a motor it is quite tough but there we go just allows me to get to this section here now we've come to that time where we're going to start bending some photo etch parts. So I think the best part thing to do is I'm going to get all the photo etch parts, which look just like this, off this plate at the moment and lay them all out. And there you go. That's all empty. As you can see, we've got two of this one, two of this one, two of this one, and one of this one, which has got sort of like a closed end on it. So the first ones we're going to bend up at 90 degrees of this one here. Now I'm just looking at the parts and you should see a little notch where the bend line is. Now normally they fold towards the notch. On my one it's just on this side here. Now for that I use my duckbill pliers because it gives me a 90 degree angle. So I'll do this side first making sure I've got that in place. That's one. We'll do this side here next. two and then we'll just do the front section here once you've started the bend and you've got that angle you can just push it up with your finger then you see three so there we go we've got one detail looking like that now this is where it's a bit confusing because obviously the bend lines are the same for both of these but we want this one to be in the complete opposite direction to that one here so i've turned it over once again, using my trusty duckbill pliers, we just do the same thing. Two pieces completed. They're the complete opposite to each other. Now, basically, we take this deck here where the spotlight is on the deck. You can see we've got two holes here. That's where these are going to go. Now, the smaller section, if I just pick this up with my tweezers here, the smaller section in here wants to point away from the spotlight so this is going to be going into this side just like that now to do that we've got tabs at the bottom there that we're going to need to fold down as well these are so small that i should be able to do this with my tweezers but i have got a special set of tweezers for that with a flat edge so i can do both at the same time just like that there you go and i'll drop some glue in that and we'll get that into place now it's actually the first two holes that we're putting glue in so we need to put some glue just in that one there and the one next to it just there not those three we keep them clear so i'll use my uh tweezers for this now i just want to make sure the platform is sitting again at 90 degrees don't want it tilting down and that's the first one in like that we'll do the same on the other side there we go and that's both of those into place now the fun of these ones where we've got to bend the steps so the first thing we want to do is we want to bend this up so that the uh, tabs that we can see on this edge just there are pointing down so this is going to be bending up this way here so i've got my uh trusty duckbill pliers here that's one now do the other side here and that's two now i don't want this going any further where it is there so what i've got i've got some tongue depressors here that i can put in the middle there just to keep that in place and it's going to make sure that i don't move these if i move these too much and obviously, as you know, these photo etch parts are going to come off. But what I need to do now is bend those individual steps towards the ladder, which means they're going to be going this way. So uh, when I get my little benders, they're going to be turned inwards at 90 degrees. So when you're going up the ladder, it will uh, 
So here's the first one. That's the first one in. Probably use a smaller tweezer actually, just to poke them. They bend quite easy once they've started. So just do one at each end. That's the second one. And that's the third one. Let's have a look how that looks. Oh, that looks perfect. There we go. Okay, these ladders are coming from the spotlight deck here into the deck here on both sides. So we're gonna put those in there. They're actually really held by just the holes at the bottom there. So that's one, two. I'm gonna use my tweezers to help me here. Now we've fitted the, uh, there we go. You see a notch in the middle, which your railings need to be either side. Can you see that? That's the first one in. We're gonna do the same on the other side. They would have been a lot easier to put in before that motor, I would have thought. But you know, it is what it is. Let's do the other side. And there we go. That's them both in there. Now we've got the big long versions of these. <laughs> now this time, we're gonna take it this way round. You can see it in my hand there. And we're gonna be bending the sides down at 90 degrees. Once again, I'm using my glasses to make sure I get it along the right line. Now we're bending not just the top rail, but the bottom rail as well, just where the stairs are. The advantage with these duckbill pliers is that I can bend the whole part in one go, just like that. So I've got a nice clean bend there. We'll do the same on the other side. So that looks just like that. And just like last time, use a couple of tongue depressors in there. And I'm going to be bending these down a 90 degree angle. And there you go. That's that one. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it was, I have to say. All that panic for nothing. <laughs> and do exactly the same on the other piece here. And there we go. That's the second one done. So we've now got two of the steps. Now I should have done this a section earlier, but I'm doing it now because it was a lot easier to do that with this deck out. So we've got two wires at the back one at the front. The two at the back, we want to just put through this deck in this square hole here. So that's one, two. Get them all the way through. The other one can go through the center. Pull them through, just like that, which means then we can locate this deck into place with no wires pinching. Just like that. And then this deck is going to be held in with PB screws. Only two of them. So put this in now, here's the first screw. So there's the first screw going in, nice and tight. And we'll put the other one in the other side. And that's what that should look like. Now, the ladders are gonna be coming off these platforms that we put in first time. And they're gonna to connect to the two holes that we can see just in the base there. So I'll get some glue in that. And we'll get the first set of ladders in there. That's one. Hopefully you can see this on one of the cameras. And two. Get me tweezers out and we'll put it into place. You want to make sure you put it in the right way so the closed section of the railing is pointing towards the uh, bottom here. And you want to make sure the top section of the railing fits over the top of the platform. So that looks like that's gone in perfectly. So it should look just like that. Do the same on the other side. And that's the second one in on that side there. We've got one more ladder to bend, looking like this. This time I want to bend these up. And basically I'm just going to use the same technique as I've done before. Now we do have two different steps. A different step at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to leave them for the minute and get the other ones in where they go. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is going to be going on this side of the ship here. So I just want to see how it looks so I can decide how we do the, the top steps there. So the top step here needs to bend down this way at 90 degrees. So I'll do that now. Should be able to do this without the tongue depressors. We'll try. Yeah. So that's going to bend down kind of like that. And then the bottom section is what's going to be attaching this into this little hole that we can just see there. So we need to make sure that that is bent down 
this direction here just slightly so it can fit into that hole. So kind of like that. And then that's going to fit perfectly on there. So we'll drop some glue in there. Just like that. And then we'll get this one in. And there you go. That's in absolutely perfectly there. Now that's all the photo etch parts. So uh, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> Let's put the last of these details in. So the first thing we need are these boxes here. I'm going to get them all off the sprue. Now the first one of those goes in front of these ladders we put in here in these two holes here. So we've got one and two. We've got little pegs on the bottom so we can make sure we line these up. Probably best to put these in actually with my uh, tweezers. Now they do clip in quite tightly there, but that's the first one in. Now on this section here, we've got three that we've got to put in a row. So I'll drop all the glue I need into these sections here. And get all these in. That's one. Two and three. Then we're going to need these ones. There's four left over, by the way, for those, but we need these ones next. So I'll get these off. Now the square one for this is just going to be going into the two holes that you can see there and there. So get some glue into those. And again, I'll use my uh, tweezers to help me. Once again, I do wonder we could have done this before we put the deck on. Doing it now, it's a lot more fiddly. But that's the square one in. Next to it, we've got one of the rectangular ones going into these two holes. One, two. Should be able to get this one in with my hand, I would have thought. Yep. And that's the second one in there. The third one is just going onto this edge in these two holes here. One and two. Just like that. Then we've got two to put at the front again just into the holes that we can see either side of that ladder there. So one, two, three, four. Get these ones in. That's one in. That one clipped in. <laughs> That's two in. Looking like that. We've got to put another three at the back here. I should have done that earlier, but uh, I suppose it doesn't matter what order you do this in, does it? So put glue in all of these. That's all the front ones completed now. And the last one we've got is just a mirror to the one that we put in this side here, just going into the other side. And there you go. When they're all in, they should look just like that. But that's pretty detailed, isn't it? But that's all there is to do in that stage. So this whole section here, looking like that, uh, it's just going to go underneath these sections here. So it's going to fit on just like this onto the starboard side. It's going to be held in with the screws we got in here. Which I'm just going to get out, which are two times four mil screws. And yes, I have got a scalpel in my hand. So with the amount of injuries you've seen on the channel lately, it's surprising that I'm not killing myself with it. So we get these in. This is going to take three screws. So first one I'll put in under here. That's one. You'll notice that I'm not putting oil into these, and that's because these screws fit into these sections like a glove. There's no resistance whatsoever. So that's number two. And here's the third one just going in like that. So there we go, that's the whole piece in. Now we've got this bit of deck here, which is gonna go on this way. And in the next issue, we've got another piece, which is gonna take it out to around about here. Uh, but we don't need any more of that. So I'm gonna move that over here. But the first detail we need, this big one just there. So I'm gonna get that one off first. 
Got me sprue cutters here. One, two, and we also need one of these box sections here, just like that. I get one of them out. Now, I need to put some glue in here. So I've got my little trough, put some glue into this section here. And then I just use my normal pin vise here to put these in. So the bigger one of this, looking just like this here, is just gonna go into the two holes that we can see just there. So I'll get some glue in there. I only put glue in these lug holes. There's no point in plastering it everywhere because the only thing that's really gonna be in contact with the ship is these two things here. Plus, if you make a mistake and you need to take it off afterwards, it's not too hard. Okay, the second one looks like this. It's got a small tab at the back of it there. That's just gonna go next to it. So that's gonna go into this section just there. Don't think I need my uh, tweezers for that. Although I might do, get in there. There we go. Hold it for a second and the joy of this glue is it sticks quite good. So as you can see, that's what it looks like when those two are in. The next one we're gonna put in, there's another detail to put in. Just look at what we've got here. We've got one of these sections just down the bottom. So I cut one of them off. Oh, and that's just falling off by itself. And this one, these are brand new sprue cutters. I've been going through sprue cutters like no one's business at the moment. Probably on account that I uh, keep trying to cut things that you shouldn't really cut with sprue cutters. <laughs> so this is the, uh, the last section just going in here. Get that in, one and two. Hold that in place for a second. And there we go. That looks just like that. Now, on the other side, we do exactly the same thing. All the details look the same, except for this big box detail here, which you can see is slightly smaller than the one we just put in. So we'll get that one off. One and two. That's gonna be the first one that goes in just at the back here. So it's gonna go in just like that. Put some glue, one and two, and then that's gonna go in just like that. Hold it in place. The next one, once again, is the small thing that looks like a, uh, a tuning fork. I think that's all I can uh, describe it as. Looks just like that. So that's gonna go next to it. Hopefully you can see this okay, I'm sure, I'm sure you can. I'm just trying to make sure that this section that I'm putting in here is straight. There we go. So that looks just like that. And then one more detail to put in. It's another one of these box sections here. One, two. That's just going into the two holes, one and two there. And then that's gonna go in just... Oh, come on, get in. Like that. Make sure that's all straight, which it is. So that looks just like that. Okay, uh, I've got some bits left on the sprue here. Oh yeah, I can see, I can see where they go. B, they go into the, oh my God, right, okay. They go into these sections just at the back here and the same on the other side there. So I'll get these off the sprues. God, they caught me out there. I missed that. <laughs> so I got both of these off. I'm just seeing what way round they go. Okay, so they're going with, let me just uh, check which way. So they're gonna go this way round. So they're gonna be going in here just like that's there. So I'll put some glue in here. I think this time, because they're going against that wall, I might put a little bit just on this wall as well. And then when you put the detail in, get this in, I'll show you what this looks like. You want it so obviously the detail's facing outwards like that. Make sure that's straight. 
I'll bend that in a minute. There we go. So that's nice and straight. Do the same on the other side. Bit in there. Bit on the other side. Put that in. Make sure it's straight, which it is. That's gone in absolutely perfect. So now that looks just like that. And then the last thing we've got to do, we have got a cable here. We don't use that in this stage. As I said, we keep that in there and the label here till next time. But we have got a little photo etch detail, which we haven't got to pull off. It's already been done for us. That's just going to go into this back section right there. So get some glue in there. One there, one there. Normally I'm wearing my glasses for this one, but because... Uh, it's pretty easy to see how this goes. I'm going to trust my normal eyesight. So make sure it's at 90 degrees, which it is. And there we go. That's in place, looking just like that. And as I said, we have got these spare issues here, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up and as I said, we have got this deck piece which we're not going to use so we can put that to one side. But we do have everything we need there for the 15 centimeter gun. So as you can see, we've got three lots of screws here. We've got two PWBs. We've got four of the uh, 1.7 times 6 mil PB screws and then PB 2 times 5 mil looking just like that. Uh, but to start, we're going to pretty much start like we did with all the other 15 centimeter guns that we've done and just quite simply take the turrets I'm going to push that in there, making sure that it rests neatly on top of the bracket there on the housing. Now we need to pinch that into place by putting some brackets from the other side and pinching that down, making sure they're all together. So now that's locked in and enables us to operate that so it goes up and down. And we do need to hold that in with one screw just into that screw hole that you can see there. And that is one of the two times five mil screws. So I've got one here. Put that in just like that and tighten that up. There we go, that's not coming off. And there we go, that's another 15 centimeter gun completed. Now we're gonna take the deck that's supplied with issue 64. The only difference is you haven't got this massive barbette in the middle here. Turn it over, we're gonna be installing it in this side here. So this is just gonna go underneath just like that. Now I'm going to position it so that it's actually facing out right there. You can still turn this wherever you want, but I want the uh, the barrels to be pointing out there because the next thing we've got to do is we've got to put on the cog. Now we've got two little tabs, just like the other ones here, which are basically where the switch is going to go. So the switch has got a limiter. It knows when it's got to uh, the points where it can't move no more. Now this is the way round it goes, not this way. So I'm going to line this up with the holes that we've got in there. And by putting it this way round, as you can see, when the switch goes in here, the limiters are either side of the switch. That's why I put it in that way. And we do need to put that in though. So we're going to be putting that in with 1.7 times 6 mil screws. We've got three of those to put in those lugs that you just saw there, the holes. You know, it's like all everything lugs. <laughs> Someone did mention when I do my car builds, anything to do with the wheels, brakes, brake discs, Brake components, I just call calibers. <laughs> it comes from a guy who can't say stragedy, tragedy, 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 tragedy. <laughs> so this is the last screw just going in here. Now the reason I wanted to line it up that way, obviously this can turn around, but when the limiter's on on that switch, it's not going to be able to go further than that. You don't want this going around this way, because you've got some superstructure deck in there, and it's going to uh, take over from that. So you only want the limiter to basically take it to there and there. So that's in place. The last thing we've got to do is just put in the switch that we had from the last issue. So I'll get this undone. Once again, I do keep these wires here for wire tidy. Absolutely brilliant for that. And you've got two sides of this switch. You've got the switch side, which looks white there, and there's this side here, which is black on the top. It's this one that we want facing up. So basically, when we turn this round, we want this switch to be in just like that. That way, when it turns, as you can see, those prongs there will activate the switch that way and the switch that way. So I'll leave it there. We just need to pin this into place now. 
and we do that with a PWB screw that's the ones with the flange on there that's just going to go into the hole just next to it there so tighten that up all the way down there we go and that switch is going absolutely nowhere that's the 15 centimeter gun in and believe it or not that's all there is to do in that stage so this is what the whole piece looks like and i think the first thing we're going to do is just open up these screws here now these screws are two times four mil screws this is what we're going to need to uh link these systems together let's put that off the mat for a second and bring over the ship now i'll just remove that deck there because this piece is actually going to go on the port side just over here this is actually really coming off my desk now uh, i can't actually fit it all on the desk it's getting so big uh, but quite simply we've got two holes just at the bottom there they're going to go in just like that they're going to be secured in with two screws there but at the same time we've got an adapter here which is just going to go over these points here as well so we're going to, all in all going to be putting four screws in here so i've got them loaded up and once again there's no rhyme or reason what order i'm going to do this in so i'll put one screw in there first i think now obviously this is going to get harder as the ship starts to come in again uh, but that's the second one in put the third one in just over this side And then finally, I've not tightened these up at the moment. I'm just putting them in to hold the uh, hole piece in place. To hold the hole. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and now what I'll do, because I'm right-handed, I need to turn the ship around <laughs> to tighten all of these up. So I've just got the two this side left to do. And that's one. And that's the second one so that piece is in nice and sturdy so once again i can just put this whole piece back on where it's going to go just for the minute and put the ship to one side now i think the way we'll do this is we'll put the railings on first and then we'll talk about this uh tower here and getting it to revolve because at the moment if you watch this it's very labored when it decides to work it's not even working at the moment look it's just too uh grinded in where it is there so the first thing we're going to do is at the front here where these steps go down we're going to be putting two railings around these curved sections here now we've already got pre-bent photo etch parts which are curved for us already so we're going to put these into place now now these are held in in three holes one just by the life raft at the back there one towards the front there a little bit more glue on there and then the last one just right at the very front and then I have got my glasses on here because it's quite detailed work. Just put the first one in. Starting from the back, the middle, and then the front. And when the first railing's in, it should look just like that. Do the other side. Same thing. Bit of glue. And then one hole at the back one near the bend and lastly one at the front there and we'll put the second railing in so i'll put that in from the back first and then turn it around to put the front one in make sure it's all in and there we go that's the railing around the front completed and then finally we've got two railings just to put on this side here where there's three holes and the other side there where there's three holes as well now these photo etch details are still on the plate so i just need to get these off and then we're just going to tap these into these three holes here so one two and three Gonna use my tweezers for this one. Then I'll get the first one in. That's the first one in, straight away. Do the same on the other side. One. 
two, and three. Actually, not enough glue in that one, that's better. Put the second one in, just like that. And there we go, that's those two railings in and the railings at the front. So, let's look at this radar. Now, as I've mentioned, I've used the control board here, the single control board, where basically the power goes into this side. It's only got one output for it, which is the small one. And I put the power pack here into that. Now, when I plug it in and turn it on, as you saw, it didn't want to turn at all. Uh, it's deliberate because what I did is I tightened this up as far as I can get it to show you the problem that I think most, most of you might be having if you are having issues with this. So I'm going to keep it on. And then when I turn it upside down, I'm just going to loosen the screws of the motor there, those black screws either side. And watch what happens. This is the first one. And the second one. And as you can see, it starts turning, but it is grinding a lot. So what we need to do is tighten them up till it gets to position where it turns around. As you see, it's labored here. Now the reason for that is the base, I believe, that it's been put on is uneven too tight, which is what's causing some resistance to that. As a matter of fact, that don't look too bad now. But there you go, that's not too bad. I might actually just put a little bit of grease on there because mine's absolutely fine now. Uh, and that's all I had to do. Now if I was to tighten these up any more, let's try this side at the back here. It's going to labour it more. See, like it's slowing it down. Put it all the way. So you just want to find the happy medium for that. I think that's not too bad. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. But that's how I fixed mine. And this is what the test board goes into. And that goes into the control board into port 24. And it's probably best to look at the picture for that so you can see where that goes next thing i need to do is connect the power to this test board just onto the spare plug that you can see on the other side just there so i'll connect that up now we're pretty much ready to go now what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to use my mobile phone to actually film what i'm doing here so when i turn this on basically bruno should start the initialization the i can't even say the word the initialization and it should turn to the starboard side. It will stay there for a little while and then it should turn back. Which it's doing perfectly at the moment. It will hold itself for a little while. And then it will turn back. That's just doing the test. The reason Anton's not moving is because Anton's not actually connected at the moment. That's going to be connected to the one at the far side when we get around to doing that. So. What we're going to do first is we're going to be pressing S1 on the control panel and it should operate that Bruno gun turret. Now it should only go round to the port side. It shouldn't go round to the starboard side. Obviously when we've got the finish control, that should work. But that is Bruno working. I'm just going to wait till it comes back and then stop that. You stop it by pressing the button again. Now, what does S2 do? S2 is going to check all of these guns here. So that's the 15 centimeters guns on this side and also this side over here. So, ready? Here we go. There you go. Now they won't go too far because obviously we've got the limiters in there. So that's the two moving on this side. And we'll just check that they're doing the same on the other side, which they are. Excellent. So I'll stop that moving. Right, what does S3 do? S3 is pretty much a lot of the lights. So we've got the Admiral's deck light there. What else have we got? We've got the spotlights at the back. We've got the um, navigation light there, the green one, and the Admiral's deck. I think what I'll have to do is spin the ship round so we can see what's on the other side. And I'm on the other side here, and as you can see, we've got the red navigation light on. Uh, and once again, we've got the deck lights on, on both levels. And we've got the spotlight there on this side, 
obviously going around to the, the uh, funnel deck on the other side there. So, so far, so good. All the lights are on. I think we've got one more button to press. So I'm just gonna turn them off by pressing S4 again. And the last one is just the range finders. So hopefully when I push these, they should both turn, which they do. And believe it or not, that is actually a perfectly successful electric test. Unbelievable, huh? I have been checking all the electrics as I go along, so I was pretty confident that we're gonna work. But uh, there you go. That's looking good. I don't think you can have two things on at once with this test board. No, I'll just put the searchlights back on. So once again, we've got rangefinders, searchlights, the 15 centimeter guns, uh, and the Bruno gun there as well, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna wait till that actually goes back into position. There you go. Successful test. Very much smiling, what do you think of that? This is what this looks like. This is what we've got in here. So we'll get this open. We've got 295 people in here tonight. Wow. So if you're uh, new to the world of Wayne channel, welcome and thank you for watching. And I really apologize for the state of my uh, mat here. There's all sorts of things on here. There's uh, blood, mud, uh, some bits from the ET spaceship. <laughs> okay, first thing we're going to do, and you know what I'm going to say, we're going to take this wire off here. And once that's off, I will put one of these stickers on. This sticker says C4, as in uh, Semtex, I believe. That's C4, is it? God, I can't get the sticker off. There we go. Now, these plugs are the same on either side, so it doesn't matter which side I put it on. But we'll put it on that side there. And then fold that round just to keep yourself on. Good, I could have done that a lot neater, but I haven't. The other end of this is gonna go into the motor, just like that. Then, what are we doing then? Then we're gonna be adding the cog just to the end of the motor like that. We're gonna bring over the 15 centimeter gun that we had last time. And just looking at the, how they've got it in the picture, it's pretty much set up how they've got it, to be honest with you. But they do have the wire for this. So let's lock this in. Just like that. They do have the wire of this going upwards. So pretty happy with how that looks. And then we're going to put the cover over the top. Try that the other way, Wayne. Put the cover over the top. Ah. It will go in. Nope. It slipped out. Let's try again. It should be fitting in that, there we go, that channel there. That's perfect. Try that again. Put the cover over the top, just like that. And then while I'm holding it all together, I should have really opened the screws up. See that, playing with a, uh, playing with a scalpel as well. There will be blood. Right, we need two screws. They always give us one spare. These screws are PB screws. They're uh, not quite sure the size of them. But there's the first one. I can't believe how quick this has come together, I have to say. It's really, uh, it doesn't seem like this has been going for 101 issues. So almost two years. That has gone absolutely quickly. So there you go. That's all there is to do in issue 101. <laughs> Okay, so all we've got in here is just some screws and the deck and like they've already pretty much put the deck on for us. <laughs> so, so don't need to do the first bit. So the deck's gonna be going on just like this and it's gonna be screwed in from the other side there. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six screw holes to put that in with. Get these cut open. All the screws are the same. These are all two by five mil screws. Uh, I don't have any more Bismarcks after this, so I'll be waiting for the next delivery to come for this. So that's the first one in. We're going into plastic, so you don't want to over tighten these. When it, all of my builds, when it comes to plastic, what I do, I screw in. As soon as it's tight, I just give it another quarter turn. 
I don't go too much because the amount of times I've rounded the uh, I've rounded the screw where I've cut the thread in the plastic it's a nightmare but uh, with the amount of screwing I've been doing <laughs> you get you get to know your limits and that's today's live stream innuendo <laughs> always here to please two more I'm saying there's six I haven't looked at the instructions yet hang on a second yep there's one more to go and then that's the last one in there excellent so deck's looking like that and it's obvious to see where we're going to be putting that other deck so I'm just gonna God, get this lined up what we need to do is put the cables through the bottom there and the lugs that we've got on the bottom this one this one this one and this one are going to fit in the like lugs just there so they are pretty much lined up before I put it down I'm gonna make sure they're all through here and not pinning anything got one being pinned there there we go and there we go that is in place that looks pretty impressive doesn't it check that out obviously you can see there's gonna be a lot of detail on here and I'm gonna to have to get to work doing those portholes again on that side uh, but this time we've got four screws to put in and they're just on the four lugs that we've got now when we turn this upside down you want to be careful oh god there's a lot of fiddly details probably best to hold that back section there when you do this and then hold it up because there are a lot of fiddly details on here so that's the first one I will show you once again what I do with the portholes I think here's the second excellent obviously I did try that radar out in the last stage so I know that works but a lot of people have been having problems with this and for what I understand it's to do with how it's seated on this base here but uh definitely definitely check that before you uh, get to this stage that's for sure one more to put in uh, which is just down the bottom here and there we go that is all there is to do in that stage <laughs> Okay, so the whole piece we're working on is just on the starboard side here. So uh, I'll get this out of the box. You can see all of these whole pieces always come with protective plastic on. So we just take that off. And quite simply, this is just going to be fitting on top just like that. Now this time, we are going to be attaching it to the plate next to it. So we have got an adapter to put on as well. That looks just like that. When I put these on, I always put them on that way. So the number's always facing that way. I don't think it matters, to be honest with you, but... Uh, I just like to keep everything uniform. So that'll go on like that. And that's just gonna be held on with the silver screws that we've got here, which are two times four mil screws. So quite simply, I'll put one just down here to start with. Then I'll put one just on the uh, adapter I've put in here. Now remember that the ship now is starting to go inwards. So as we get further down here we're not going to be able to get a screwdriver in here and it's for that reason that earlier on they did give us one of these little blue ones so we're going to need that later on in the build but I'll continue uh, putting these in that's number three and the last one just over here and that's number four so now that's the whole piece in now there will be the deck that's going to be going on that section there which looks just like that we've already put a 15 centimeter gun in there and that will just fit over the top just like that now some people have said what about the gap that you've got either side here don't worry about that because as we build the ship it's actually going to pull these sides in so as you can see that gap's going to disappear so it's only why the ship hasn't been completed yet that you have got a little gap there so yeah don't panic about that too much so i'm just going to push the ship all the way towards the ET spaceship there and then we're going to take out the first of the photo etch parts looking like that for the railings I'll get these all off the uh, photo etch plate here and there we go that's them all off there so the first ones we need just going to put these to one side here are just these two which are the same length that look just like that 
Now we're going to want to put a bend in to the sections where you can see that the fence got narrow sections on it there. Uh, the bends are going to be facing inward. So if you have a look closely at the part, you should see a little notch in there. And that one's got a notch on this side. So I'm going to point, I'm going to bend this in towards that knot there. So for that, I do use my trusty duck nose pliers and that will give me a nice straight bend just like that then I can just bend it over but it doesn't have to go 90 degrees that's perfect so I'm going to do the same on the other side but in the other direction so making sure that the tabs are pointing down this one's obviously then going to go this way so get me uh duck bill pliers on here just to bend again there we go that's two lovely right angle bends for some of the railings there now these are going to go either side here so you've got this section here one of these and then the exact same thing just on the port side there so if i put the uh, starboard one side in first just gently that will give you an idea of how this looks it's going to kind of look just like that so i'll get some glue in there just put some glue just into the holes one two three and four and then we put the first railing in so what i do is i put the tabs in first on one side so it's the first tab in and the second tab and then i'll bend the others into place just like that make sure that it's sitting straight and you also want to make sure all the tabs are in the hole and when they are it should look just like that do the same on the other side one two three and four probably best on the top camera just line up this section first make sure they're all in and then push it back so that all the tabs are in place i'm just gonna hold that with my fingers for a second and there we go on that side that one's complete now we've got a tiny little railing here which is going to sit just on its own just off center here into these two holes that we can see here and here so i'll drop some glue in there The most important thing you can do when you're putting these railings in is ensure that when you put them in you're putting them in at 90 degrees up if they're bending over they're not going to look very realistic so as you can see i'll put that one in there and i'm going to hold it till it is at 90 degrees there slight adjustment and there we go and then that's that one in just like that then we're going to start putting in the pre-bent circular pieces here or semi-circular pieces they're just going to go into the top section just over here so once again put some glue in there one two and three now these should go in a lot easier because obviously these are pre-bent for us just make sure all of the tabs are in the holes and there we go that's the first one in do the same on the other side here that's the third one and then this one goes in one two three that looks pretty impressive doesn't it there you go that's in place now the longest photo etch part looks like that and this is going to be bent first off we're going to do a bend just at this side here and this is a very mild bend so you look for the notch again in the photo etch part just like that and i'm just going to give it a quick just a tilt just that much not a lot at all on the other end you will see another notch in here once again we're going to be bending that but again not a lot just enough to to start the bend going so it looks just like that so the longer one here is going to go on the port side so i'll get some glue just into the holes 
where it's going. One, two, three. I'm gonna turn it towards me here. M4, and then we'll put this one in. So. That's the one hole, that's the one in, two, three and four. Hold that in place for a second. That's got in perfect. So we've got that railing in on that side there. We're just gonna do the railing on this side here, which is the smaller of the photo etch parts. It should be bent that way round to follow the curve here. So we've got one in there, two there matter of fact i've missed some glue off let's uh put one just in the back there as well <laughs> so then we've got one two three and four hold that in place and there we go that's the railings all on the front completed and that's all there is to do in that stage <laughs> This ship is getting so big now. I'm just gonna take out all the screws we need. Now we've got four black screws, actually five black screws, and we've got five silver screws. The silver screws are the ones that we're gonna be putting into the metal of the hull, which means I just need to shimmy this over, just so you can see it on the cameras there, because we're gonna be putting another kill piece in just here. Now this is what that looks like here. It goes this way around. As you can see, it's really starting to come in on itself now uh, but we're going to be attaching that with these adapters like that like we did last time so get this lined up get this screwed in what i'll do with the adapter i'll put it in this side first i do think we uh we definitely need another stand for this to sit on now but uh hopefully that'll be coming soon we'll have to see we have got these holes in the bottom here as you can see here, which I'm guessing are eventually going to be for, there's my catapults there, eventually for a stand to go in, a more permanent fixture. But then we're going to offer this kill section up here, just like that, and put these screws in as well. That's one. And finally, that one's number two. And there we go. That is the kill section into the ship. Now, we can put this to one side because the next thing we need are these two deck plates that we've worked on previously. And quite simply, these lugs on this side here are just gonna go over the top like that to keep them together. Turn it upside down. We're gonna be putting four screws through there and those screws are 2.3 times six mil screws. Now out of all the black screws we've got, we get two kinds in this one. We've got 2.3 millimeters and we've got two millimeter ones. So it's the ones that look the bigger fatter ones here that we're going to be using so we're going to hold this together and get this screwed in there we go that's the first one three more put one over this side there you go and then two more one here and finally just one at the end here all good now we've got that we're going to be attaching the deck that we have been working on looking just like this show you that on the side camera there absolutely massive we're going to be putting all of these wires through now we've got three wires so we want to put two of the rear ones back through the rear hole one from the front down this hole here because we're going to be putting this whole deck on here get in there that's it just like that pull the wires down so that this can sit in absolutely perfectly like that make sure we've got lots of give in these wires which we have so there we go, that's sitting perfectly on that. But we are gonna be putting this into place and screwing it down now. Now for that, 
we need two times five mil screws and they're going in six places so what i'm going to do it's going to be pretty tricky this is a uh, now i can't actually hold it upside down until i've screwed some in so i'm going to put the middle ones in first and that should hopefully hold it into place there's one and then i'll put one just on the other side then i should be able to turn the whole thing upside down to be able to screw everything in so that's the second one there we go now we have got details on the top there so we do still want to keep it upright i normally use a jig for this but i think i'll be able to do it by just holding it here there's number three excellent all about symmetry in this model because what we've done on one side we're doing on the other number four and then we've got two just at the back here number five and the last one just on the other side here number six and there we go that's all of them in so now that deck is securely fastened together now it's time for some detail work so the first bit we need is a railing which is pre-molded and pre-bent for us like that this is going to be going around the starboard side spotlight here so i'll turn this around so you can see where i'm going to be putting that it's going to be going on this section just like that which means i need to drop some glue into there so because this is detailed i will be using my glasses for this again these are in my amazon store and i'm going to be dropping some glue just into the holes that this railing is going to be fitting in and i put one tab in at a time let's free it let's do the ones on the bend here There we go that is that railing in just like that now going around the other side of this searchlight here we've got another bit of railing this one's a lot smaller than the last one so once again i will drop some glue just into these holes here people do ask about this this is just an archimedes drill with a normal dressmaker pin inside there it's nothing special so get this one in oh this one's fit a lot better didn't really need much manipulation at all but when that one's in that should look just like that now we need some photo etch parts so we're going to start bending so we need the one that looks like this first and we're going to be bending the sides here up at 90 degrees there is a notch in the detail which shows us where to bend it so one side there See, it makes it a lot easier doing it with this. And here's the other one, just like that. Now, this is going to be going in front of the black detail that you can just about see there. It's probably best to look at the pictures on this, but on top, you can see where I'm pointing to. So we'll get some glue into here. This definitely is one of those pieces that you think, mm, we could have probably done this before we put the radar on top. <laughs> but there we go. Get me uh, tweezers out here. Tweezers are definitely your friend on this issue. And when that's in, it should look just like that. We then have this part here, which is going directly behind the one we just put in. You will see some holes either side to accommodate that. So once again, I'll just drop some glue into the holes either side. And this one goes behind again look at the pictures for this because it will make things a lot easier you definitely want to take your time over those but as you can see that's now in like that i'm going to put that to one side because we're going to be cutting some pipes from a sprue now yes we do have a sprue in this issue as well matter of fact i think i'll cut off all the pipes here just to save time later on 
And these pipes, the smaller ones, are gonna go into these two holes that we can see just on this side. So once again, I'll drop some glue just into these holes. Now these are identical, so we can put one in this side here. Just like that. And we do the same on the other side. Just like that. There you go. Now these longer pipes here are attached to the two holes that we see underneath the spotlights here. So we've got one this side and we've got one to put in the other side there. So what I'll do, probably best on the top camera for this one, I'm gonna drop some glue into those two holes. Just like that. And we want the shorter end to go into the detail we just put in. So when we line this up, so I'm just going to put it in now, just like that. The pipe is actually running alongside. Now what you also want to do is just dab a touch of glue just on the end of the pipe we put in first, just to join these together to make it look like one pipe is continuous. I'm going to hold that in place and show you what I mean there. There we go. So now that looks just like that. I'll do the same on the other side. Very detailed issue this one, isn't it? So one in there, one in there, and I will add just a little bit on the side of that pipe there. And we'll put the second long pipe in here. Which has gone in absolutely fine. I'll just join this end up here. And there we go, that's that second pipe in as well. Each side of this section here, we've got ladders to put in, one this side and one the other side. The ladders are on a photo etch part, they are gonna need bending. But this time, I don't need my duck nose pliers because I'm only bending it a little way there just to put into the holes that we can see each side. So once again, more glue. One here, one down the bottom there. We want to turn in the tabs, which means I will need my knack nose pliers, just as a 90 degree angle there. One there, and one there. And there you go, when that's in place, that one's in. Do the same on the other side. And when both the ladders are in, it should look like that. Now we want the details that look like this, which have got sort of like a blade on one side there, and the other side, as you can see, it's quite narrow. They're gonna go either side of this fence here. So we're gonna have one going in this side, and they are kinda at an angle, pretty much following the angle of this curve here. around you do want it so that the, the end of this detail touches the fence there probably better on a close-up camera do the same on the other side it's only held in with one very tiny blob of glue put that in again check for symmetry that looks good Need that to just sit upright a bit more. And there we go. And that's those two in looking like that. Now we need the detail next, which looks just like this. The difference between some of these details, you've got an extra tab at the bottom and you've got like this extra square opening on this side. We want the one that looks just like this. And we need to bend up the tab in the middle like that, making sure we've done the opposite side on the other one here. Now. The first part we're going to put in, make sure that the tab is pointing out right, and it's going to originate from this point just here on that deck. So I'm going to put some glue in here as well. And the end is going to fit just over the end of the parts that we just put in. Now, let me put these in. 
put the first one in. It's probably best to look at the pictures, but it looks just like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now they want us to put the next ones in. As a matter of fact, let's do it the way the instructions want us to do it. They want us to then put part J in, which looks like this. You can see the difference between them now. This one's going to originate from the middle hole that we see there. And then one of the tabs is just going to go into this hole here. And it's going to rest on the other side of that section. So I'll drop some glue just in here. One here. And one here. And when they're in, they should look like that. I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other side. So when they're in, they should look like that. Now we've got some braces to put on top of those sections. The braces look just like this, and they're actually going to go this way up as well. So again, if I do one side first, the first one with the open section on of the photo etch part looking like that, it's going to go on top of the sections that we just put in. So I've got my tweezers here to help me out. So that's the first one in. Then we've got the closed section. Look exactly the same, but there's no opening in the middle looking like that. And that's just going to go into the middle. And we've also got a hole just in the center to help keep that lined up. So we'll drop it in the hole in the center and make sure it fits these other parts. And there you go, when that's in, it should look just like that. We're gonna do the same on the other side. And when they're all in, that's what the finished result looks like. <laughs> looks really good, doesn't it? Couple more parts left to do. We got these small railings and walkways here, which we're just gonna to need to bend round. So again, I've got my duck nose pliers. It's gonna make short work of that. Now you have got a tab at one end here, so you need to make sure you bend these the right way round. So this one here is going to be bending this way. And this will be going on this side. Now the tab that we bent up, this is what it's going to rest on. So I'm going to drop some glue just onto these tabs. One on the end here. Let me just lift that tab up just a touch. There we go. Put some on the tab there and then we'll put the first walkway in can you see that that looks pretty cool do the same on the other side and there you go that's those two walkways in now I've got two walkways and grills left to put in they're telling me that C1 and C2 are coming in a future issue so I need to keep them safe now with my new workstation here quite easy for me to do that I'll just put them in this pot here, ready for next time. But that was a fiddly issue, wasn't it? But it's certainly impactful what we've done there. And you can see some of the detail that we have on this ship. And there you go. So uh, pack 10 is actually on the way. So that's going to be here soon. Uh, can you believe there's only like three more uh, boxes to go? That's crazy. I can't believe how quick that's happened. Uh, but once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put the link down here for the Agora Models website. Anyway, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.